Okay, so here we have what has become the iPhone garage door opener. Um, starts off with the heart of the system, the Arduino, with a relay on board. LEDs are just for testing purposes. Um, the Arduino is connected via serial port back to the temporary server for now which there's the web page generated for the button this is the uh, that's just the uh, PHP code and the Arduino code to trigger the relay essentially whenever it receives a signal on the serial um, the front page does not actually have the code to go into um, the Arduino and trigger it it actually calls another page that way you can reload it without triggering that was one of the biggest problems I had with the code uh, based off of the references that I got but the um, page when the door is hit triggers uh, or sets off the trigger.php which is the page that actually sends the command via serial back to the Arduino that closes the relay right there which closes the circuit on these two wires that are jumped into the garage door button very simply tapped in on the back just tapped in off of the existing screws so on my internal network here so it's not public it's also just in testing we have the garage door button app up so signal is sent from the iPhone to the web server to the Arduino closes the relay goes to the button and now if I can stop it So, next step is to tap into the existing open-close switches to send the signal back to the Arduino telling its status. So I will know if it's open or closed. And potentially getting some sort of a camera shot of the garage so that it visually can show status. Green light, red light, or maybe hopefully a picture showing the status of the door. Uh, based off of some simple webcam software or something like that. But as of right now, of course now, minor bug to be worked out. Now eventually this code will go on a server downstairs and I have to figure out a way to extend the USB serial trace to the basement where I actually have my live server store the code to communicate with the Arduino and then maybe project box this and mount it up on the wall that way I'll have a uh, more polished connection product but then uh, ultimately if I can tie all this stuff together you know the world the sky's the limit as far as add-ons I can put uh, you know, an RFID reader right outside of the garage instead of the current touchpad, the keypad that's there. Matter of fact, may be able to put it inside of here somewhere. So the kids can have dog tags with the RFID chip. They come in, swipe their dog tag, and bam, there goes the door. Well, it took me a whole day to do this.